Hi, welcome to the vlog. So I'm just in bed having a cup of coffee and I'm re-watching a video that I edited last night. I had a bit of trouble with it, so I had to export it three times. Um, but yeah, I luckily got it fixed last night. I thought I had it fixed and then, um, yeah, left it to export overnight. And then, yeah, thank fuck, it seems fine now. So yeah, some of the same was missing on it. I don't know why it does that. It's happened to me before, but um yeah it's fine now thank god so um i'm just re-watching that while i have my cup of coffee and then i am probably i'm gonna start editing my podcast me and megan recorded it last night so i think i'll start editing our podcast now because that'll be going up later on this evening so yeah, I'm gonna tip my brows and do my nails today for sure. I look absolutely, oh, my hand is wrecked. I look absolutely awful. My brows don't even look that bad, I don't think. They don't, they haven't faded that much since the last time I tinted them, but um, the video that I'm watching now, they were just freshly tinted and they look so much nicer. So yeah, I also wanna try soap brows whenever I do my makeup next which should be sorry literally broke there which should um be today because i haven't worn makeup in a long time and i am running out of instagram pictures so yeah i also need to put it through need to <laughs> put through a beauty bay order there's a couple of things that i need so i'm gonna do that now as well so i'll catch up with you guys when i'm probably doing something exciting or when i'm heading down for my breakfast maybe I'm gonna make um, my breakfast slash lunch now because I forgot to have breakfast. I'm gonna try my like, avocado toast. I kind of want egg as well. I can't pick, so I might have like one of each. I don't know. We'll see. Look, my mom's fucking vape is never out of the way. Would you get that thing away from me? I'm going to make a poached egg in the microwave. Wish me luck. <laughs> Honestly, think this is really my second time making avocado at home. So don't even know i think it's right <laughs> feels like it should be but i don't really know because i'm very good let's see i'm so hungry is there a good knife anywhere no of course there's nothing just what she's doing what a treat okay oh there's my egg It's literally never near cooked. Love that for me. Is this avocado small? I think it is, but I don't honestly really know. So I don't know if I should have all of it, half of it, or what. I'm just gonna see how much I need. Actually, I'm gonna toast my bread. I may have put too much water on the egg, but oh well. Hopefully it cooks eventually. I think that's right. Just go for it anyway. Mm, I don't know if it is. I'm so good. Oh, I don't know if it's right. It's very hard to do anyway. Okay, this is going fine and my egg is cooking, thank God. Ta-da, look at that. The egg isn't fully solid, it's pretty much okay for me. Thrilled. Thrilled. Okay, I'm finished eating. <clears throat> that was delicious. I'm very good. I'm gonna go down to the garden now and let it. Yesterday's pond in the sun, it's boiling again. I've seen Max for myself. So it's now <clears throat> six o'clock and I've just uploaded I can't see over there sorry um I just uploaded the podcast I got a bit burnt a lot burnt in the garden it actually doesn't feel bad but I've literally just come in so it's probably more red than it really is um yeah so it's uploaded now and I'm gonna go for my walk now I think I might have some soup because I don't think dinner's anywhere near ready 
where I might just have dinner. I'll see what's there. I'm actually getting hungry now. What I had was my avo toast. Cook myself it's a few chicken fillet. Um, and I'll have my soup that I defrosted as well. I'm gonna show you where's it gone? It's on the chicken and it is unreal. It's the chili and lime one. So nice. You have to try it. So hungry. <laughs> what bun? She's been watching me have every mouthful of this, I swear. Like, how are you meant to even eat soup bun? Hmm? I'm gonna make another coffee with um, Muju. I already showed you it in my last vlog, so I won't show you every step. You'll be so <clears throat> bored. <laughs> It's 20 past 10 and I'm only getting out for my walk now. What is this life? I am pretty tired. But, um, yeah, I'll be fine in a bit. I quite enjoy nighttime walks, but also I am a bit tired now. So I'm just going to go for about a half an hour. I've been meaning to go for a walk all day. I've just had such a busy day. Honestly, I had to get the podcast edited and stuff. I obviously had to put through a beauty bay and a look fantastic order. And it just takes so long to decide what to get. So that took me way longer than it should have. But I was in the back garden while I did all that. So I got loads of colour. <laughs> I'll show you that when I'm back. Um, and yeah, I loved today's podcast as well. Honestly, it's a really good one. I love it. Um, and I think you will as well. What is that light? Oh, it's just the light in the background. The lights are really weird because... It's dark and my phone is obviously trying to brighten me up. I'm so out of breath because <laughs> I literally walked so fast to get to this main road. There was like, this is the second night that I've gone for a walk. I went for a walk at like this time last night. It's like 20 past 10. And then, um, sorry, the Lewis was passing me and it was so loud. So I had to take a little break. But um, yeah, yesterday I saw a group of like four or five lads and I was like, like you're meant to be at home. I just facetime each other like i just i can't anyway and um yeah i walked so fast just there because i wanted to vlog and i didn't want to be beside the group of people beside me there was like girls and guys probably like five of them minimum i was like what are you doing like who is letting their kids out or are they lying to their parents i don't know but yeah i also walked a bit far from my house last night and got a bit scared <laughs> not scared but I wasn't like fully loving my life it was a bit quiet where I went so I was like maybe it's not safe if I'm here and um yeah so I was like I'm definitely bringing Bonnie Schneider brother last night but yeah I just didn't want to bring her today because she already went for a walk earlier with my mom and my brother but I don't want to go without her and I know that she enjoys it when she's here I'm just conscious that she does get tired like she's a tiny little dog and she's not a baby anymore although thankfully she literally still acts like one like she is so um happy and fit and healthy but yeah anyway I'm gonna get out my walk there's a lot of people out so um I'll talk to you in a moment imagine you know what I feel like talking <laughs> um yeah, I was just thinking, I always think so much when I go on my walks, but I kind of love it. Um, I always just feel so much better afterwards, like, you know, if there's anything in your mind, and you go for a walk and you're, like, back to normal afterwards, nearly. Um, yeah, there's nothing, like, I'm not going for a walk to get anything on my mind, but I'm just thinking, like, I'm just so much more motivated at the moment. And I think that a lot of it is to do with the fact that I've just got so much time to do what I want and it's all for myself like i'm not doing any work for anyone else it's all just my own and that makes me so motivated because it's so different when it's for yourself like if you're working away for someone else and you're just getting sick of it like it's just a completely 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 different feeling like it there's nothing like it it's just completely your own motivation it's so weird but I could work night and day and it doesn't even feel like it's really work but I just constantly feel like I should be doing stuff and like 
obviously <laughs> it's not exactly good either because I struggle to like switch off sometimes as well like at the weekend um Connor was off obviously so I was like I'm gonna not do lots during the week and but it kind of my arm direct it kind of doesn't it kind of doesn't really work out like that like I can't really not <laughs> put anything on Instagram for the whole weekend so I'll have to at least do that and like the only way I could just only quickly post them which would be fine is if I edited them all in advance and stuff and I don't have the time for that because then it takes time out of the work that I want to get done during the week and there's not enough hours in a day like I honestly have been up since probably half nine this morning but was working until about one last night and um have barely stopped all day well like I have been obviously doing my beauty bay order and stuff like that but I literally we got to even have breakfast and I'm only really unwinding now at 20 past 10 so yeah I know you might not consider like posting an Instagram pic as like work and I don't either because I love like I love posting Instagram photos and I love posting YouTube vids um but um it's time consuming like it is time out of your day honestly <laughs> like today I posted on my Instagram the girls and Phil's dude Instagram and Loud's Instagram and <laughs> I still don't even feel like that's enough sometimes and then I obviously put up stories like I uploaded my video to YouTube this morning I edited that last night but I did like the thumbnail and uploading this morning so then I put up a story for that put up a few other random stories throughout the day to keep like my Instagram busy and that's it so I didn't even get to go on for a chat to Instagram or anything it's so hard and I've also been, blo been vlogging throughout the day obviously not that much I don't think but I've been doing it so yeah it's just constant I love it like I love choir vlogs I love just vlogging my day even if I'm doing nothing I find it so fun but you guys are probably like fucking hell is she actually bringing us on another walk with her again <laughs> but um yeah I love it but like it is constant you know and I feel like this is what I was saying to Connor at the weekend so I was pretty much feeling a little bit guilty because I had done a couple of things over the weekend like just uploaded on Instagram and stuff but it wasn't even really guilt it was more I was feeling like I should have been doing more but I also knew that I wanted and needed to spend time just doing what I wanted over the weekend relaxing with my family and with Connor I think I'm gonna turn around here it's starting to rain yeah let's go back on but um yeah and then I just was like I don't know feeling a bit overwhelmed I'm gonna get my period any day now so I was probably just emotional anyway but I was just uh, really frustrated because it's hard to find a balance and um I also was just telling him how hard I find it to switch off and how it's I think and now I might not stop but what I think is that at the moment I feel like everything's kind of in a work like a work in progress so my Instagram I feel like is only at the start my YouTube channel is at the start my podcast is only starting and um, loud is barely started look at my hair <laughs> but um yeah they're all works in progress so I feel like I constantly have to work 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 to get them kind of being successful and figure out where my life's really going because <laughs> oh I just yeah at the moment I'm like dipping myself into so many different things and they're all oh, they're not all only starting but um I'm not where I want to be yet with them all even though it's kind of ridiculous because I might never be where I want to be. I'll probably always be thinking that I'm not there yet. So I need to relax and enjoy where I am now. So that's the message I want to tell you guys. My arm is falling off. But um, yeah, just try to relax and trust the process. Not that I can do that, but I'm trying to do that. No, I'm not still wearing my top. Oh my god, I'm so burnt. I just covered myself in um after sun. But it's only on the front, like well I've got the shape 
on my back but it's not like burn i think that's actually from before mostly but <laughs> and i also have the shape of my watch in my hand but that thankfully is not burn it's like tan from probably the last couple of days but what am i gonna do with myself like when well, will i learn my legs are a little bit red as well and um, yeah it actually doesn't feel that bad it feels a bit warm but should be fine tomorrow. Can't put up with myself any longer. I really can't. Ah oh, yeah, so I'm back and I'm clean. Thank God. I'm pretty tired though. I'm not gonna lie. I think I just need a little drink. It's like half twelve and I promised myself that I'd go to bed earlier than last night, but it's looking like it's probably gonna be like one o'clock again. But yeah, I'm just determined to take my brace. So I'm using um this one. I got it in boots, I think, ages ago. Like genuinely a couple of years ago. And it just lasts forever. This is the second time I've bought tint in like, I don't know. Like something like 10 years probably since I've been tinting my brows. Um, so yeah, it's pretty good. And I think it's like 10, 15 euro. So it's so worth it. I always just do my own brows. I actually very very rarely get my brows done um so yeah i have the shade dark brown for my brows and i don't even know what brand this is but it's exactly the same i had the eyler one before and this one's another well-known brand um that they also sell in boots and probably all the pharmacies but um yeah this one's just in black because it's for your eyelashes so this is 45 day mascara. I'm too lazy to do this now. It's more hassle. You have to leave it on for like 20 minutes at least on your eyelashes. That's what they recommend. But you can leave this on for like two minutes. I might leave it on for five or ten. Um, just because I don't mind them being pretty dark and then they last a bit long. <laughs> Sorry, I literally burped. <laughs> then they last a bit longer. So um, yeah, I like dark brown. I like leaving it on for ages. So it's so easy to use. Um, I'll show you. So save this because there's no point in doing this. Um, so you get the dye, and then this is the what's the word? Develop developer liquid is what it's called. So you put I don't know what the strict measurements are, but you just put like a little bit of dye and then a couple of drops of this in. It tells you on the it tells you on the packet, but I just kind of know by eye how much I use now because I've been doing it for so long. But um, yeah, and then you just use this little stick that comes with it. This one's broken and stir them together until it's like, I'll show you what texture it's supposed to be now. I'm actually starting to get low on this. So I'll just do like that amount and this will be plenty I always have a good bit and then a few drops of this oh, it's kind of hard to get it to me it loves to trick me and pretend that there's none left but I can see that there is anyway that's enough just put a little bit in it ah not anymore um, and then I just mix them You kind of have to like break down this bit. Like sometimes you have to separate it. It's not that easy. The first time I remember, I remember being like, what? But it's actually easy. You do have to like apply force though to like smush it kind of. <laughs> okay, so that's the sort of texture that you want. You just want the lumps gone and the two of them completely mixed in together and that's all you need like the tiniest amount and um, so yeah i'll usually just use this and i'll ooh, um try and just stick to the shape of my brow but i do here last because i want it to be a bit lighter it's much easier when this isn't broken and it's skinnier at the end but i literally snapped it in half um so yeah, I usually just follow the shape of my brow, 
but I do usually want to make them a bit thicker so I'll like darken the lighter ones that are underneath here um because you usually don't even know that they exist until you tint them it makes your eyebrows look so much thicker so I'll apply that like quickly with this like half my brow doesn't exist of this brow it's just I over plucked it before years ago and I just it never grew back honestly fair play to them for growing back the amount that they did because my brows were barely existing it was just up like that it was like just the very top of it and that was it <laughs> So yeah, I'll usually go out a bit, but um, sometimes it stains your skin. I feel like it used to when I first did it, but it doesn't really anymore. Um, I don't know why, but if you use toothpaste, it's meant to get it off your skin. I think I did a few times and it worked pretty well so yeah just throw it on like there's something really to be scared of I think they tell you to leave it on for like two minutes but I'll leave it on for like five or ten usually um because I don't mind if it's really dark especially when my roots are this dark so yeah I also like to use a spoolie sometimes and run it through them or else sometimes I use a spoolie with a bit on it um because there is a little bit left so I'll put a bit on it and I'll put it on my eyelashes to darken them a tiny bit. I'll just do like the ends of them. And it does work a little bit in the few minutes that you have it on. It honestly it irritates my eyes um, when I do it like this, obviously. Because usually you'd have your eyes closed and there is like things that come with it to do it properly. But you have to get someone else to do it. Like the way that they do it in the salon, you can't really do it yourself. So, um... Yeah, you don't really have a choice. I'll probably just fix that up a bit. So, I am concerned that I don't have my glasses on and I'm looking in my phone, not a mirror for this, but what can I do? Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it on for a few minutes and then I'll be back. Wow, I look great. So it's probably been like 10, 15 minutes because I decided to change my sheets, but I'm gonna take them off now or take it off now. So I just grab a bit of cleanser on the cotton pad. Ugh, these ones are real. The cotton is real exposed. I hate the feeling of cotton. It makes me sick. So yeah, and then yeah, perfect. So there it is. Wipe it off. I'm gonna do another one to get it off my eyes properly because imagine leaving it on how irritated they'd be. I could not deal with that. Okay, so there we go, they're done. Let me show you. Need a bit more light. They were actually darker the last time, so you can kind of see it's a little bit stuck on my skin there, but now it will fade off. That'll be grand. Um, and yeah, they're nice. They're like natural. They were definitely darker last time I did them, but I kind of liked them, but they're fine now <laughs> as well. So yeah, you can leave it on for longer if you want. There's no harm or else if it's your first time, then just do it for two minutes or whatever it says. And you can always add more afterwards, I guess. Um, you can't really take away, but it does fade quickly, especially with like the weather that we're having, like in the sun and stuff like that, they fade a lot. But yeah, I do need to give them a pluck though, so I'll probably give them a pluck tomorrow. They're not too bad. I have been giving them like little plucks in between 
um, like I've been putting on makeup and stuff so they're not horrendous but they probably they just look unneat because of it you know there's probably bits of my skin but it's perfect for now I'm gonna go put on like my moisturizer and serum and stuff because my face is so dry and I obviously couldn't put them on before I um did my brows so yeah I'm gonna do that and also I want to show you something friends got me the Foreo Luna Smart Beauty Coach Facial Cleansing Brush. <laughs> I don't really know what to actually call it, but I've seen loads of people rave about these and I'm so excited. Like I would never think of buying myself one of these, so it's so nice, like such a nice gift. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. I love skincare. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm way too tired now to like get into trying to figure out how I use it and everything, like you need the app and stuff. So tomorrow morning, I will probably use this. I'm gonna do my nails and everything tomorrow um, and have a bit of a pamper. So I will use this and show you guys it and let you know what I think as well. I'm very excited. It's the same skincare that I did last night, the Retinol Jasmine um, range because I'm obsessed. <laughs> Thank you.